for finding range of such type of functions we have a very easy trick for that you should know that what are horizontal and vertical asymptotes in order to find asymptotes for this function first i will put denominator equal to 0 so x is equal to 3 will be treated as vertical asymptote and if i just take away the coefficients of x in numerator and denominator then y is equal to 2 is a horizontal asymptote we are dealing with x greater than or equal to 5 so x is equal to 3 is of no use so that will just give us an idea that this function is of the type like this okay on the other side we actually don't want to see that but the only thing which you must know is that this is y is equal to 2 horizontal asymptote okay now we are looking for x greater than or equal to 5 and it is a decreasing function so it is evident that whatever is the value of this function at 5 that will be the max value after that it will decrease up to 2 so if i find g of 5 then it will be 2 times 5 plus 5 over 5 minus 3 that is 10 plus 5 over 2 that is 15 by 2 so it means that the value of y the value of gx is less than or equal to 15 by 2 okay it is less than or equal to 15 by 2 and it is greater than 2 because it cannot go below 2 you can see in the graph so if you know the graph if you know a bit about vertical and horizontal asymptote at least what i discussed over here then you can very easily solve such type of questions still if there's any doubt regarding asymptotes you can put that in comments i will make exclusive video on asymptotes only